Okay, Don't charge him. Good. Right there. Right there, hey, we got Coach Scott up here in the booth. <laughs> that is a gorgeous Tzatziki forehead on our screen. We're going back to Gilkey. Looks like I picked the gold gym to go along with. They got the lead back right now, 79 to 71. I was, was going to say, you want the switcher group? <laughs> <laughs> I got an owner tonight. Top eight, top eight, top eight. One shot. Watch out, be shooting. Watch out, be shooting. Oh, my God. So four dead for ambush. We're going back over to Flame Sword. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Going car. This is the first real setup we've seen all game, Chris. This is a full complete, well, it was a full complete setup. They had ball guy, base side of the, of the carbine. They had two guys, car one, which is surprising to me, kind of baiting and switching, going from underneath the jump up to the in front. And they had the other guy pushing to the other base, so the ball guy knew where to run. Yeah, Flame Sword was just kind of running around in some crazy circles there, but it seems to be working out. He picks up the assassination, his teammate's able to shut down the ball carrier, and he's still going to work. Nexus finally taking him down, but once again, four down for ambush momentarily. It's just status quo. They seem to be killing in groups, double kills. Yeah, pick, one, pick one up all two dead. 118 to 98. Remember, we are going to 250 seconds or the team that has the most time at the end of 15 minutes. That's Flame Sword again right there. The second time he's died in a row and he keeps going for the beatdown. I mean, Flame Sword, pull out that BR, do some damage with that, keep going for that beatdown. It's not working for you. And right now we got Tots on a killing spree. He's finally taken down. Clutch is over there on the ball as well. And Ace is trying to do work. He just picks the beatdown up on Nexus. And now you got Flame Sword positioning himself top tower. All of his teammates died on the A side of the map. And now he's going to try and work with Clutch to pin this ball. But that ball is going to be heavily guarded by Ambush here, all four alive. I don't know if they did it on purpose, Chris, but by moving that ball underneath, that forces Ambush to go underneath the base, go out of their way to get that ball. If they would have kept that ball on top, Ambush would have had a lot easier time of getting that ball, but instead they, it ends up underneath. By doing that, they gave status quo time to spawn and then push that. Absolutely, you know, uh, smart move or not, it, it yeah. worked out for him. And um, right now, I got to say, Gilkey, this this seems to be his map. This seems to be his strength. I'd love to see the kid on Amplified Team Slayer. His BR is solid. Turning right is solid. <laughs> Turning right and hitting right bumper. <laughs> or whatever is setting. I just assume bumper comes. I think he's going to Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, so we got Tizoxic doing work. Nexus is holding the ball. I'm staying on board with Gilkey. Got to give this kid props. For his battle rifle so far. And you know, the one person we all talked about during the pregame show, Macchio, really not impressing me so far this game. It seems that, you know, after being dropped by final boss, maybe his dedication or his drive kind of took a, took a drop there. I think his drive stayed the same, Chris, to be perfectly honest with you. The biggest problem final boss had for the first two events was Macchio's lack of dedication. He didn't want to ever play, he ended up missing two or three lands. You can't have someone like that on your team. It's hard going to school and gaming at the same time. Macchio trying to do work over here on the tower. Clutch sitting top car. Macchio getting pinned by two players. And finally, Flame Sword pokes out for the headshot. We're jumping on board with Tizoxic. All I see in the bottom left corner is killed by Tizoxic or Tizoxic killed. He's in a lot of action so far. The thing I love about Tizoxic is he doesn't play three sensitivity like the whole rest of the league. He plays six. Six sets. Look at this. Look how cool it is. <laughs> Keeps me entertained the entire time. Look how cool it is. Quote Scott this year. All right, guys. Right now, you have two down for ambush make that three down Macchio is going to respawn with the help of Nexus they're going to be pushing on the car side we're going to see how Tizox plays this one spawning under the A base picks up the kill across the map on Ace getting chased he's kind of just being the distraction meanwhile Macchio doing work just stuck tots Macchio holding the ball and defending himself at the same time we're going on board with Mac dog I threw a dog on there yeah yeah I, I, I like that all right <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah I'm surprised Macchio hasn't been a, the objective player all along on this map. His awareness is one of the best I've ever seen since Halo 2. Like, he's always been so aware of where teams at, and that's what you need in this game type is awareness, because you have to rotate the ball so much. And Clutch's VR is on fire. Macchio pushing in, had great positioning, but Clutch is not missing those headshots. And uh, you got to watch Macchio on the bottom left corner of your screen. He looks at his television, and then he looks at his teammates all the time. And you see the guy in the back left there. That is Coach Bullets. That's Nexus's younger brother, and he's been doing a lot of work. Macchio just getting shut down. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock, and Ambush is taking advantage of their positioning. Tzoxic and Gilkey were doing work on the carbine side of the map. Meanwhile, Nexus was just holding that ball, looking pretty in the B base. Wainsword pushes in, and with a solid BR, that is a game changer. Yeah, it seems like melee is contagious right now for the uh, for Nexus and Flamesword, as Farouk pointed out. They seem to melee every chance they get. And now Flamesword coming off the respawn with Clutch and, uh, or Gilkey rather, in his sights. Clutch is going to pick up the kill, and right now this is kind of just becoming a sloppy Three game. It all comes down to who is foreshotting and who is missing shots. Whoever wins that battle is able to pick up four to five seconds of ball time, and then they die immediately. One shot, A Maze, Gilkey, A Maze, one shot, A1, Gilkey, two that grab ball, A1. 50 seconds left, or 50 second lead here for Ambush. Only 90 seconds left in the game. This is clutch time here for status quo. Ace picking up the beat down with the ball. Flames are doing huge work top tower. He's going to be taken down. We're going on board with clutch. So clutch on the opposite side of the map as his ball carrier. Fortunately for status quo, Tots and Flames are going to spawn closer to the ball. One shot, two one shot. Car one, eight car. A car now, Aaron, he's going front and of him. And you see that 50 second lead now down to just 20 seconds. Status quo really doing a great job of protecting Ace here. They are dying, but they're at least taking out one or two members of Ambush before they're taken out. Todd's doing work with the beat down. He's the last member alive for status quo. And we're going to Nexus, who is holding the oddball. And right before that, since you guys, I was, I was watching Nexus because he picked up a double kill right before that. But he had a feeling that he knew they were throwing it out front, so he went bottom middle already. And as soon as Ace threw the ball out front, he already had it in his hand. Triple kill for Macchio? No, just the double. That's four down again for Ambush. We're staying on board with Nexus. He'll be the first one to spawn his team. You see 30 seconds left in the game. It is a 17-second game here. Status quo needs to come up clutch. And if Ambush could have held that ball the eyeball for about another two or three seconds. They could have sealed it. And Tizox has got it. He's got the assassination, and now it is going to be almost mathematically impossible. They got to kill Flamesword. Oh, my goodness. Looks this like one coming down the to the wire. Flamesword, no shield. Card two. Tie. And it ends in a tie. Wow. This what? is the first time I've ever seen a tie. Do you know what we do in the case of a tie? We do it again. Do we? I need a water. <laughs> Clutch is tired. <laughs>